Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Shark Week. Incidentally, if you're not watching Shark Week during the time I'm uploading the videos, you can always check out my Shark playlist where you'll see all the other Shark vacuum cleaners I've reviewed. Today I'm going to be having a look at this corded stick with the pet hair removal tool, 10 meter mains cable, anti-allergen complete sealed system, Flexology to clean under low furniture, the Duo Clean brush roll to deal with all kinds of debris, and the anti hair wrap feature that's designed to keep the brush roll free of pet hair and indeed human hair. Okay, without any further ado, I'm going to remove everything from the box and we'll have a closer look at the shark corded stick. Here's everything out of the box. You get a nice long crevice tool for your nooks and crannies an anti-hair app turbo tool that's ideal for picking up pet hair we've also got this two-in-one tool it's a dusting brush the brush comes off and it becomes a furniture nozzle for your soft furnishings stair carpets curtains etc this is the flexology wand the duo clean motorized head and of course the cleaner itself Here's the cleaner itself with a 450 watt motor and 10 meter mains cable. One of the earliest shark cleaners I reviewed on my channel was a corded rocket stick vac and they've certainly come a long way since that model. One complaint I had about the original rocket was the fact you couldn't remove the dust bin to empty it. You had to take the whole cleaner to the bin to empty out the dirt. Shark have addressed that problem with this model. The whole bin comes away. You've got big grey button here, press it and you can take the bin out and empty it. Press this button here to open it and then you can let the dirt fall out. This is the shroud, you might get hair wrapped around this, make sure you just give that a wipe or just take any debris off it. You don't want that blocked up because you will reduce the suction. At the top of the dirt bin is where you'll find the two pre-motor filters and they should be washed once a month. To access the filters, there's a little filter access button either side. Just squeeze it to remove the filters. You have a sponge filter and also a fabric filter. So wash those in clean water, make sure they're dry before reassembling them. The felt or fabric filter always goes first and then the sponge. Make sure it's seated properly in the filter holder. And then it just fits back into the top of the bin until it clicks. When putting the dirt bin back, insert it at the front of the cleaner first and then just push it up until it clicks. The HEPA exhaust filter is located behind this grill at the top of the machine. To remove it, simply push up here where the Shark logo is and you can remove the filter grill and we've now access to the washable HEPA filter. To take the filter out of the machine just squeeze it at both sides and it comes out for cleaning. Shark recommend cleaning this every nine months. It's two parts, you've got this sponge part and the pleated HEPA filter part. When they're clean and dry you can pop the sponge back and then reinsert it into the machine. You need to squeeze each side as you're putting it back just push it down, make sure it's firmly in position and then you can relocate the filter cover like so. There are two buttons on the back of the machine. This one turns the machine on and off and this one selects from carpet or hard floor. Incidentally, you can only select from carpet or hard floor when the duo clean head is attached. In handheld mode, you can fit any of the small accessories directly to the machine. So this is ideal when you're cleaning the stairs, your upholstery or inside the car. This is the mini pet tool with the anti hair wrap blades. This again will fit directly onto the cleaner or you can fit it onto the end of the flexology wand. To clean stair carpets, you can either use the anti hair wrap turbo nozzle, the small upholstery head or in fact you can attach the duo clean head directly to the handheld unit simply pushes in and clicks 
And now you can take this up your stairs. It is quite heavy and you might not want to do this every time you clean your stairs, but once in a while for a really deep clean, it is possible to use the machine like this. Shark is well known for its duo clean brush roll with a soft roller at the front and this anti hair wrap brush roll behind it. After a certain amount of use, the soft roller at the front can become grubby, but you can easily remove this for cleaning. There's a little button at the side here. Simply push it forward and the brush roll springs free. You can wash this under running water. I have used a mild detergent on this, something like washing up liquid. You can rub it in if it gets very dirty, rinse it thoroughly, squeeze it out as much as you can, and then leave it to dry. When it's 100% dry, you can pop it back into the machine. Just fits this way first, and then push the gray part in until it locks into position. The DuoClean head also incorporates an automatic cutout should the roller become obstructed. If this happens, simply clear the obstruction and switch the cleaner on again. It's now time to assemble the machine for carpet cleaning. So we need to take the duo clean head and the flexology wand. The wand fits into the head this way. Push it down until it clicks and then attach the cleaner to the top of the wand until it clicks into position. When assembled for use, the cleaner is quite tall and it can't support itself. So if you need to pause your cleaning or store the machine away, you need to use the flexology feature. So you just press the gray button at the back of the wand and gently lower the machine down. And now it stands up on its own. To store it away, you can wrap the cord around. You've got a lower fixed hook here and an upper hook here. This upper hook rotates so you can release all the cable in one go. Okay, it's time to try the cleaner out for the first time. To lower the handle, put your foot on the duo clean head and pull the handle back and switch on. <laughs> Well, my first impressions, I'm not too keen on this cleaner, or at least this form factor. I'm not sure why Shark introduced a mains powered stick. Now, obviously it's nice to have a choice. You can go for a mains powered stick, a mains powered upright, or a cordless stick, or a cordless upright. But this, for me, in my home, I don't think I would use it. I'd rather have a full-sized upright cleaner or a cordless stick. So this is a sort of, in between machine it might work for you but for me i don't think i would find much use for it couple of little quibbles i've got with the machine i know i've only just switched it on when you first turn the cleaner on it goes into the default setting of hard floor mode which means that the brush roller is rotating at a slower speed so when i initially switched it on on this plush pile saxony carpet it stalled the brush roll and it cut out the red light came on and the brush roll stopped so i have to remember when using it on this carpet to select the carpet setting before lowering the head onto the carpet so that doesn't happen. It's also a little bit flexible. Now I know we've got the flexology feature which is very useful for cleaning under low, low furniture and of course for storing, but when using the machine, especially on a carpet that is a little bit hard to push on, it seems to flex rather a lot. I don't know if I can show you with the machine switched off. The problem with this cleaner is there is quite a bit of play between the cleaner itself and the flexology wand. Now I initially thought it was where the wand joins in the middle 
Obviously the flexology wand is designed to bend, which makes it easy to clean under furniture and to store the machine away. But I've noticed that the middle of the wand, that's pretty secure. Where I'm getting the flex is here at the top. And it is even more noticeable on this Saxony carpet because I do have to push it a bit harder. It's harder to push on this carpet than it is to push on my short pile carpet in my hall. And as I'm pushing it, it's moving. Push it forward, it moves. Pull it back, it moves. I'll just try it again. Obviously, I'm going to have to raise the head off to start it. Hopefully, you can see what I mean. It's just, there's just too much play between the cleaner and the top of the wand. And I think with continuous use, that's that's only going to get worse. I know this happens with Dyson cordless machines after a while, but the fact that, yeah, I'm not too sure about this. Look at the play in that. And I can imagine if I was to use this on a regular basis, that will only get worse. So I'm afraid it's a thumbs down for that. Well, folks, I've just had a fantastic time throwing loads of mess around my house. So apart from the mess on this rug here, I've made a mess in my kitchen as well. And I've also made a mess on some upholstery. So we're going to use the shark corded stick and hopefully we'll be able to restore order to a very messy house. Cue the video cleaning montage.
Well folks, that's all the cleaning done and this shark corded stick doesn't look quite so clean and shiny as it did at the start of the video. As you saw, it does perform pretty well. It picks up well on carpets and hard floors. It's especially good on hard floors with the duo clean brush roll, it even cleans up to the edge as you saw. But what I don't like about it, as I've said, I'm not keen on this form factor. It's quite top heavy. I'm not keen on that uh, excessive play between the machine and the top of the wand. And the cord just kept getting in the way. It was forever wrapping itself around my tripod, my studio lighting, and it was, it was so inconvenient. If I'm to buy a machine like this, I would go for a cordless because that's the advantage. If you want a mains powered cleaner, personally, I would go for an upright rather than this handheld stick type, but it might be the sort of vacuum you want in your home. But for me, it's not for my home. It's, it's okay, it works. It's very, very tall in use. So if you're quite a short person, you might find it sort of dominates you a bit. But all in all, yeah, performance is good. The hair does tend to wrap around the central shroud though. And um, yeah, it's sort of a, mm, not keen. I'm not keen, to be honest. I have to say I'm not keen on this particular shark model, but go and read the reviews for yourself on Shark's website, on Amazon, on Curry's, on other websites that sell shark products and see what other people say about it. But for me, yeah, I think I'll pass on this particular shark. If you have any comments or questions about this particular shark vacuum, please comment below. Don't forget to join me same time, same place tomorrow for another shark vacuum cleaner during Shark Week. Thanks for watching and bye for now.